What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Atomic Society. Really glad to have you here. We're going to hang out for a little bit and we're going to continue building our little city. In the previous episode, we had built a bunch of shanties and a whole bunch of poopers. And at the moment, we're getting our water supply fixed because like our little water meter is kind of terrible. And we want that to be a little bit higher because I don't know what you know about human beings, but we require a lot of water in order to continue existing in any capacity. So we've got a very, very good foundation already maxed out for this city, but there's still more work to be done. So let's dive right back on into it. We'll take care of things. I need salvaged masonry right now. So let's go ahead and do that. We will employ as many people as we can inside the wells and whatnot to start drawing out some water. And I will go to fetch the water till the day that I am grown. That song always had such like a dour, like I haven't watched The Jungle Book in a really, really long time, but that song always struck me as like tremendously sad. Like they put it in that minor key and it's just like, it's a song that just like, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, like The Wailing Woman or something. Like it's just, I don't know. It's one of those songs that like wouldn't be inherently sad if it was in any other key. Like it's kind of a neutral song. Maybe I haven't heard the lyrics in too long, but that song has always been just kind of like a heart-rending song just based on the music alone, let alone the lyrics. Very, very well-written song when it comes to eliciting emotion, which is ultimately kind of the point of music. That's what you're going for. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some more people to work here. we got too many people navel-gazing right now, and I'm not down with that. The other thing that we need to do is we need to tear out a whole bunch more masonry, otherwise things are going to get bad before they get better. Apparently we need a guard tower in order to be okay with migrants. We got more migrants over here. They're all heading into our city at the moment. It looks like they're fairly well busted up. Like a lot of these guys have illnesses and things that are making it difficult for them to continue surviving. Man, when this house runs out, we're going to have problems. The masonry from this place is the only thing keeping us like moving forward right now. And when it runs out, it's going to suck. How much is left in this place? 63%? Well, we don't have to think about that problem for a while. So that's the good news, is the problem is not going to be forthcoming for a very, very long time. We have a lot of dead people, dude. We have, like, a lot, a lot of dead people. But, like, more people keep streaming in. So it doesn't seem like it's that big of a problem for now. Uh, water should be getting better very, very soon. I know that these don't harvest very frequently. Like, they kind of hang out before your water supply comes through. The dew collector is doing the best that it can possibly do right now. He's trying his best, okay, with his weird little flower hat. He's trying. And that's all we can ask of any of these guys. That's all we can ask. Bethany Vickers and Holly Patel. That person is plagued. That sucks. This guy's still running back with his little cartoon legs. I feel like his legs should make like little creaking noises while he runs. He got little like machine guy legs. All right, so we have more masonry now. Uh, let's figure out what we want to do next. I'm thinking medical hut uh, to heal people. So, like, a first aid tent sounds like a very, very good idea to me. Especially if we can put it kind of along the edge of town over here. So, let's get that rocking. I would also like to see a crematorium to get rid of the dead bodies uh, about as soon as possible. And we can just kind of perch that, I don't know, kind of on the edge of town. It's kind of grim business burning bodies, but... We got a lot of bodies laying around. There's a lot of dead folks out here who have died of plague or radiation or whatever else. Viral outbreak. Eh. We kind of need to work on that a little bit better. We'll go ahead and send the boss man over here too so these things get built a little bit faster because these are kind of mission critical things that we need to have right now. Water hasn't come through yet, but it is going about as fast as it can possibly go. So I think we'll be okay. We just kind of need to wait it out. We'll employ some more people over at the medical tent. We'll help out, or I'm sorry, with the, yeah, the medical tent. Um, I don't know how many people can use this place. Apparently only two people can go in at a time. Maybe the treatment speed is rapid? I don't know, but we can make like an entire medical sub-district over here if we need to. We have more than enough workers coming in. Like, of all the things that we don't have, workers we've got coming out of our ears right now. Let's go ahead and we'll build two more first aid tents. Uh, just to make sure that we've got access to medical care for everybody that needs it. So there's one right there. And then we'll kind of just ploop another one right there. And let's get our main guy working on this. And so that gives us six slots for medical attention. Oh, uh, well, the water bar is going up, so that's very, very good. Uh, we don't have enough latrines, so we're going to have to get on that pretty soon, too. 
but I want medical care to go up. The latrines aren't really that big of a deal if we can treat the illnesses that are coming up from it. Uh, we can kind of offset that a little bit with some crunch, if necessary. They're burning bodies over here. That's good. Get all these dead guys out of the middle of town. Let's continue throwing workers at some of these jobs. All of our meters appear to be recovering a little bit. We don't have a lot of entertainment or shows or anything else like that. But that's a little bit higher up on the list of, you know, needs. Like, entertainment doesn't matter if everybody's dying of plague. So, we'll worry about that a little bit later. I don't know what's going on with my Zoom, but my Zoom is being very, very... My Zoom is not being cooperative right now. I need more masonry for the next glut of building. So, we'll send him on out to handle that. Uh, we should have medical attention available for people now. Yep, there you go. We got medical attention available. And then if we get batteries, we can basically boost the efficiency of those buildings. Although we didn't find any batteries inside the truck over here, so... Oh, really? The stuff respawns. Interesting. I had no idea. So this right here is 1% respawned. It looks like it takes a while. Oh, nice, dude. We found a hiking backpack. Sweet, dude. That's bumped us up to 25 things that we can carry. Well, more masonry, I guess. The more you can bring back, the better. I do think that there should be a button. Like, I don't know if there is a button. But there should be a button on your leader. Like, maybe down in here somewhere where you can just click it and it automatically takes him back to town. Or maybe put it, like, on his little menu right here. You just click it and he automatically goes back and drops off his stuff. I think that would be a very, very good addition. Just me personally. What is going on with my Zoom right now? My Zoom is just being odd. It's being strange. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop off some of this stuff. It seems to be, the zoom appears to be struggling with the leader. It's like semi-centered. Depending on who you've got it on, I think. I think it's like prematurely centered or something. I don't know. Like, I want it to detach from the leader, but it doesn't really do it the way that I want it to. So we've got our sky high vision right now. We'll slow the game down again. I do see a lot less people dying of plague now that we have this. Uh, the people that are burning bodies over here, it's just going to take them a while. Like, it's just one of those things where it's going to take some time. We've got a water well. We can start producing greenhouses now, which I think is a really good plan. And so I don't know how many greenhouses we're going to need, but I'm going to drop three of them back here so that food is no longer a concern. Two of them, I guess. We ran out of resources. Uh, boss man, you come over and help out with this. We'll throw some more workers in there. Latrines are next up on the list. If I have enough for a latrine, I don't. We need more lumber. So we got to wait for lumber to respawn uh, before that's going to be something. I deeply regret throwing away all the lumber we had previously, but I don't think we really had much of an option when it came to our operational sense. Like, I think it kind of had to happen like that. So no biggie, no harm, no foul. How long does it take for this thing to get done? Throw some more employees at it. Food is the lowest thing that we have right now, so... We'll get some food back on it, and hopefully everything will be okay. Water has recovered ever so slightly. The big issue we're running into is we just have people flooding into our city right now. And it's making it very difficult to deal with things. Uh, we'll take the leader. And dear leader, I think that you should come back. Oh my god, what is going on with my camera right now? There we go, it's fixed. There we go, we'll get that going. This place has quite a bit of masonry and lumber left over inside of it. It's got 63% salvage remaining. I think it might be a good idea to get that moving too. It's taking a really long time for us to get rid of some of the dead bodies out here. We got enough people resting, so I think that'll be okay. We may want to start looking into lumber that we can start pulling back. I don't know where all my salvage guys are going at the moment. That's the crematorium. This salvage thing right here, it looks like... It looks to me as though they're going out to that power pole right there. Oh, really? The buildings will actually fall down. Oh, cool. We found a rusty toolkit. Nice. So we can repair structures faster. Come back and drop that off. We need to build a repair hut.
Uh, that's our next big thing is we need to build two repair huts maybe. People that can run around and just kind of repair things. We don't have any lumber though, so we're going to have to get on top of that too. It's going to sort of be a non-negotiable. But I'll send the leader out here to go get lumber from this location. I think that should give us the next grip of things that we need. And as soon as he's back, he's right there. All right, well, hurry your little leggies back up, man. Hurry it on up. Things are going to be okay. All right. It's going to be all right. All right, dear leader, come over here and come get me some lumber, man. We have no wood right now. We are a woodless group of people. People are dying, like, a lot. Well, on the plus side, my salvagers are grabbing from there now, so should maybe help out a little bit. I think we should probably get a grip of lumber back from there. But if we didn't have the lumber, we're going to get it from this sign, so it'll be all good. Come on, knock it out. There we go. Get that, get that lumber, bruh. Get that lumber, my dude, and then bring it on back. And then I'm going to have to repair that as soon as he gets back. Luckily, he's not that far. So we're going to make the run around and just repair everything with him while we wait for the repair shack to finish off. Got a lot of dead folks. All right. Come repair that structure, please, and the latrines and everything else. And then while we wait, we're going to need a repair shack. The repair shack is a little old place where we can fix some buildings. Repair shack, baby. Repair shack, baby pair shack. This will fix us up. Once we put like five people on this, they'll wander around and slowly just repair everything. That building falling down was kind of an issue. I'm not happy about it, but it's the way things go a lot of the time. Come help out with that, please. And... That took longer to build than I expected. It's done. All right, employ people. Just go repair things. Uh, boss man, come over here and salvage that right there until it goes away. And then we'll drop off whatever we can. Although at the moment we are lacking storage space. So it may be time for us to build a, another storage location. Don't really want to, but I think it's going to happen. Like, it's going to have to happen. So we'll get another storehouse over here, and we'll just drop that right there. Looks good to me. The thing is, there's so many items you loot in this game that are not useful until, like, the mid to end game. That until you get that finished off, like, they just sit in storage for a really, really long time. There we go. All better. Uh, drop everything off. We're looking good. Send him back over here to go get some more lumber. I would like it if the whole process was tied together. So once he goes and scavenges, the second he finishes, he comes back. And then it gives you like a little notification once he's completed a, a run. I think that would be a really good thing. Uh, treatment capacity wise. People are hanging in there. We found a book. It's got construction techniques. So now we build faster. Very nice. Take that. Bring him on back over here. Our population is dying very, very quickly. I don't think we have too many people working, though. We just gotta. I think it's food and water that's really causing the issue. I may go ham on some, like, dew collectors. Just, like, out here on the edge of town. Just, like, bam, bam, bam. There we go. Like, something like that. It's going to be worker intensive, but like, we got to fix this water problem. Like, I built all this water stuff down here, and then it just did not help, like, at all. So, I, I think we're going to have to go into, like, mass production here just to fix that meter. Food is also looking a little bit rough, but is the food looking rough because we don't have enough water to properly grow it, you know? Like, 
It could be either or, but we need our people to be better nourished. Sort of like required. We have 71 people. Alright. Employ all you guys for water gathering. Uh, we also need another latrine, apparently. Which is kind of unfortunate. I suppose the latrine can go where the old tenement housing was and we can just expand that out backwards and everything will look good. Time always flies when I play City Builders. Like, I can't believe we're like 15 minutes into an episode right now. Like, I love City Builders. Like, I tend to get like really sucked into them. I don't know if that happens to you, but when it comes to just like building things and like dotting the map with stuff, it's an almost sort of like trance-like experience for me sometimes. And I lose track of time like really, really badly when it comes to City Builders. I don't know why. But that's always been the case for me. I just love games like this. These little city manager games that allow you to just like fiddle with stuff and try to keep people alive. There we go. The water meter finally jumped. It jumped pretty considerably too. Probably by about 25%. If nothing else, that leads me to believe though that we're going to need like even more dew collectors. I think I'm just going to go straight nutty with the dew collectors. We'll see where it settles because it's still pushing upwards. And so like if it pushes to like right here in the next couple of days, like hell yeah. That'll be the stuff. We also haven't built a town hall yet. I still need to do that, too. Uh, where is the town hall at? We have the stuff for a town hall. It'll fit right here next to the toilets, which is good because that's exactly where bureaucracy goes. But hey, perfect. Anybody that's ever dealt with, like, government bureaucracy and, like, filling out nutty loads of forms, like, it's the worst, man. I just bought a house, and, like, the amount of paperwork you have to do to buy a house is just like, why can't I just give you the money and you give me the deed to the house? But no, there's, like, a new middleman, like, every other day for some other random government thing. There's a new tax, there's a new fee, and it's just like, oh my god. There is currently an 11% chance that whatever laws you pick will have any effect. Convert people to your belief system to increase the community engagement with the police, which will lead to more convictions. Alright. So, murder. We've caught citizens killing men, women, and children. The killers claim it was self-defense or for the good of the town, but we'll never know. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, execution. Oh, we need a punishment center. Okay, so we can't enact that yet. But yeah, if you kill somebody, we're going with uh, Hammurabi right now. This is a primitive society. Primitive societies require harsh laws because there's only so many of us, and every single person that dies... Like, if you've got a population of 6 million people in a city, right? If somebody dies, it's sad. But it doesn't affect the population as a whole. Like, you're talking about a minor, minor fraction. We have 80 people in our society right now. If one person dies, that's over 1% of our total population gone. And so, like, we've got to have harsh laws. All of our engineers have died. We have to rely on citizen builders. Okay. These things happen. Water is still ticking its way on up. Very, very nice. We might be able to make it up to, like, very, very satisfied if we keep this up. Uh, more food, I think, is the next thing on the radar, then. we got to focus on the basics out here. Let's spin this dude around. We're going to keep things nice and organized. There we go. I'm just going to mass produce, since that's all I can do. Uh, we'll send the boss man over here to work on these and make it happen faster. That book actually did accelerate his building speed to, like, a nutty level. His building speed has gone through the roof ever since he got that book. Oh, those are outside repair range, so I'll have to put in another repair hut, too. Okay. Uh, let's get these rocking about as soon as possible. We're up to 100 people, so we've got the workforce to make this happen. Help out with that, and then we'll employ people over here. Water is looking great. Fantastic, so I'm happy there. Uh, food needs some help. We may have overdone it, but, like, we'll grow into it. This is just future-proofing. Any excess food that comes through, it just means that I don't have to build more greenhouses, even though we have more people flooding into our borders. 
So no problem, no harm, no foul. Should be okay. Uh, water is actually almost satisfied. Like it's almost done. And so greenhouses. Good job, everybody. Stay at it. Uh, things will get better. Just got to give it time. Uh, so we need more lumber. I'm going to send the boss man over here, pick at this thing a little bit. How much does this have left? 38%. Okay. We're getting kind of far out on some of our on some of our gathering at the moment. It's making me a little nervous. For whatever reason, you can't chop down trees for lumber. Uh, the developers posted on the forums on Steam, and they said that's intended for now. They said you will be able to do stuff with trees later on in early access, but it's a placeholder for the moment. And so they said just pretend like the trees are like irradiated or something. But they said the trees are planned to be harvestable and be a part of a future mechanic that they haven't had time to implement yet. So if you're asking yourself logically, why can't I get lumber from trees? Uh, the developers have already answered that question. It just hasn't been implemented yet. Healthcare is good. Housing is good. Uh, food. Hopefully it bounces back once we get our first big harvest from the greenhouses. And then once that bounces back, I'll probably build a couple more crematoriums, like one more maybe. We actually don't have that many dead bodies around. I think they're catching up. Uh, we've got people in here being healed, so that's good. Healthcare is looking satisfactory for now. Some people are just going to die of old age, too. I mean, most of this is just like, yeah, old age. Like, a lot of these are going to be people just getting too damn old. Uh, we're bypassing days pretty quickly, and as old people, like, funnel into our village, they're going to die. I mean, it's the way she goes. Mm, what do I want to build now? I think a punishment center is a really good idea. I don't know how I convert people to my beliefs. The enforcer provides additional enforcers to arrest criminals. Okay. But how do I brainwash people to my beliefs? Okay, theater, chapel, tavern, all that kind of stuff. Um, the research center might not be a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, let's do the research center. Absolutely. That sounds great. Uh, we can put the research center just kind of like back here in this little corner. There we go. Um, apparently there's stuff that's locked that we haven't gotten to yet. So they give you a lot of buildings as your basics, but like, let's do it, you know? Let's let's get back up in here and let's start like rebuilding society the way that it's meant to be rebuilt. I'll probably put like a residential area. I actually don't know if we need residential areas. I think we'll be okay. We're kind of like at 92 right now, which is good. That means people aren't dying anymore. Um, it's been kind of idled out right there for a hot minute. We're kind of like right at the line for some of this. So we can do a research project. Let's look at a research project. We can research a new building. So we've got the chemist. They will take our greenhouse growth apparently and they will make homemade medicines. We've got Elder's End, which is where old people can go. And when they die in there, apparently we get hope. We've got a giant storehouse, which holds 300 items. That would clear up some space. We've got a hospital, which allows us to fold down the tents. And then also, this encourages people to have children, apparently, so we'll grow that way. We've got luxury housing, luxury towers. We've got a weaponsmith. We've got a wind turbine, which will allow us to charge vehicle batteries. I think the civic defense is the most important thing for right now. So let's start out with, like, we don't have any defense right now. If we get attacked, we're basically going to be fighting with our hands and, like, bricks and whatnot to protect ourselves. And so I think the weaponsmith is a good idea. In order for a, sci a society to be sovereign, a society needs to have a standing army. Or at least they need to have protectors and people that look out for the well-being of everybody else if outsiders come along. We almost have 100 people living here. That means that, like, our, our militia could be reasonably sizable. You know, having ten guys along the edge of town with rifles and machetes will definitely run off all those little two or three bandits that think they can come around with, you know, a blunt instrument and take what they want from us. And so just that deferment right there. Sometimes you don't need a big military. You don't need a lot of fighters. You just need to make it clear to the outsiders that if they come, you are going to put up a fight and like, yeah, you're going to lose guys, but they're going to lose guys too. And then they move on to greener pastures and people that won't fight back. 
sometimes that's all you need is just that threat of violence. Not necessarily a large standing militia, but just like the fact that you are capable of fighting back to run off kind of the weaker bandits that, you know, aren't really down to do murder and do what it do. Starting to have a little bit of a die-off right now. One of their five core needs was too low. It's more than likely food. That's what I'm thinking. Is we just cannot seem to get food evened out. Like, every time we get food evened out, they're eating through it, like, faster than... They're eating through it faster than I can grow it. That's the truth. They're eating through it faster than I can grow it. Like, honestly, that greenhouse rolled up, and it didn't even move the meter. We probably just need more food supply. I don't know. It takes so long for food to grow, though. I don't even know if we've had time for a full rotation of food yet. Uh, we've got enough stuff left to build, so I think we should do it. How far along with our research are we? Where is the research menu? Right there. Oh, it's going reasonably quickly. That's not too bad. Like, I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that. That's not terrible. Oh, really? We're running out of workers in our water, too. We haven't had immigrants in a while. I think we got a couple people trickling in right here. Oh, food's trying so hard right now, but it just keeps falling back below the threshold, man. That's a bummer. I think we're going to have to stack up more greenhouses, but I don't have the workforce right now to do it. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I will see you all later. This is Atomic Society. If you like the game, you can get it down below. It just had a big update, so I figured we'd check back in on it and see what the game had cracking. Hi, do, and take care. It's been really, really fun experience. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it.